Yo, Fukugamers, welcome back to another Heart Survival 4 video. So I was scrolling for YouTube when I came across this video made by John Parker 117. In the video, he challenged himself to play Japan without a navy. Also, he challenges every other Heart Survival YouTuber to do the same. In particular, he challenges uh, Alex the Rambler. Uh, I might not be Alex the Rambler, however, I am another Heart Survival YouTuber, so I decided to take him up on the challenge. Like. In order to do this challenge, he stated three rules. First rule. Play as Japan in 1936 Iron Man mode. Second rule, delete all of your navies at the start. Use the first 100 political power to delete the pride of the fleet. Number three, do better than he did before the 6th of June 1943. By that he means uh, conquer more land than him before that time. Subscribe. Now there's two problems with me doing this. First problem, I have never played Japan, to be honest. Uh, second of all, I'm not 100% sure anymore what he did conquer, however... From what I remember, he conquered China, uh, the Raj, Vietnam, the Dutch East Indies, British Malaya, and the Philippines. And then he quit before 6th of June 1943. Now, I'm going to try to do better. Uh, however, there's a change made in the last DLC by Blood of Alone with how paratroopers and transport planes work. I haven't tried that yet. So, if this goes really bad... That's probably the reason why. However, I'm keeping in, you know, the good mood. And it's going to work, hopefully. Alright, so first of all, as you can see, if I move myself, as you can see, I am on Iron Man mode. Here you can see all of the achievements I'm able to unlock. Second of all, let's select the entire navy and press the delete button. Alright, I can't because I have the Pride of the Fleet selected. Let's do it again. There we go. Let's select all the other ships and delete them. And apparently, yeah, god damn it. Now let's select all the other ships besides the Pride of the Fleet. There you go. But I didn't select him. There you go. All that is now left is the Pride of the Fleet, which I will delete later when I have 100 political power. Now, first order of business will, of course, be paratroopers and to put a shitload of transport planes into production. Also, let's delete the entire naval queue and put every dockyard on convoys because we're going to need them because they're going to be sunk. A lot. Now, the good thing is I'm not going to be relying on oil as much because I don't have that big of a navy. So I guess that's a bonus. Also, in this video, I think he invaded China really late, but it's because he was waiting for his uh, paratroopers. Either that or he just took a bit of a long time. I'm not sure why that happened. Probably because of the lack of a navy and not being able to naval invade everywhere. Uh, however, his paratroopers did seem to work out, so I'm gonna hope I can figure out how they work. And of course, I'm going to be building a lot of naval bombers to protect my seas as best as I can. Now, he did this before the By Blood Alone DLC, so he didn't have the plane designer yet, so I'm gonna hope that works in my favor. However, I am rather incompetent, shown in my other videos. So, maybe my planes will suck, but let's hope they don't. What the... Also, the rivalry can just completely go the way of the army since there is no navy left anyway. Alright, just got my first 100 political power. Time to delete the pride of the fleet. There you go. No more. Zero navy, zero ships. Fun. My second political power I want to spend on the army morale guy because that gives non-combat out of supply penalties. And I'm probably going to be out of combat a bit because, well, you know, no navy to protect my convoys. So... But then again, China doesn't have that big of a navy, so I guess it won't be that big of a problem with uh, China. Now, luckily we have a general that has the commando trait, so I can immediately give him the paratrooper trait, which gives me more supply grace for paratroopers, which is perfect for this playthrough and these units. All right, I've done the Marco Polo bridge incident. Now it's time to go to war, but will they join the faction if I declare war on them? Wait a minute. All right, so here's a funny thing. Shangxi actually didn't join the Chinese United Front, but I do get a war goal on them. So I can attack them, annex them, and then just get behind the Chinese lines. Which I personally consider quite funny. Hmm, Japan even has a naval aircraft designer, which will be perfect for me. Alright, Italy has sent me equipment again. Thank you, Italy. Oh, wait, no, they did join. Okay. Well, that's... I mean, at this point, it, 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 at this point, that's pretty much fine. I am prepared for that. All right, so I have my paratroopers set up. Let's see if this works. Oh, yeah, yeah, it works marvelously. 
I mean, I don't have the port yet, but I will soon, so that'll be fine. I have my units here ready to sail in as soon as they can. Alright, I've taken both of the ports. Let's see if I can take down this unit and quickly send over this man with all of his troops to get to this border and start pushing straight into the Chinese. Oh my god, my man can already be a logistical wizard. That was quick. Alright, it seems like the first paratrooper mission went down perfectly. Let's set up another one. Right, maybe Beijing will be vulnerable right now. Let's see if we can take it. Alright, so now let's do the second paratroop invasion and see how it goes. Okay, okay. Uh, not perfect, but we might at least get this port. Okay, the Chinese are arriving, but we always got Xiamen. Which would be perfect. We got Xiamen, let's get the troops in there. Or we might even get Fu Fuzhou, if that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, with the full scale attack on Fuzhou, we might be able to get it. Oh, come on. Come on. We got it. Let's go. And that's another successful paratroop invasion. Now I'm hoping that by dividing the Chinese troops over their entire coastline, I can conquer them swiftly. I'm also building a collab government, which is almost finished. That would be great. Alright, so far the dividing has been do going splendidly. Because they've had to spread out their troops more. And I can maybe encircle them down here. Let's see if I can can would be amazing all right there we go we got that reddit encirclement let's go all right i have a 90 percent collaboration government on the chinese let's see if taking nanjing will be enough to capitulate them i'm afraid it won't be but uh it can't hurt to try right so let's start the invasion right now there we go we got it we got it i even got an uh got a medal for it nice uh let's see we got the cities however I'm not sure if we're going to get the port, but I think we might get Hangzhou. If that one ever fires. I think we might not have... We don't have superiority there, that's whack. Um, do I have any air forces in the neighborhood? Oh, there we go, they just left their planes. They, their planes just left, okay. And this guy is getting attacked by an invisible unit. That has almost no stats, so wonderful, I guess. Uh, now let's take the other port so that we can actually send in these boys. Yeah, we took the port, let's go. And we took the other port. We took Shanghai, Nanjing, Suzhou, Hangzhou, and another city that... No, that's it, that's it. Okay, great, great, great. How far are they towards capitulation? Oh, they're almost there. 55% of... 65%, right? Yeah, they're 65% towards cap capitulation, which is wonderful. Oh, 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 another Reddit encirclement. Whoa, pause it on. Oh no, that's just France. I thought it was China. Alright, very slowly, snakedly, and painfully, we are getting them to capitulate. Wait! Let's go! I'm not sure what to do, because I think the smart way might be to puppet them. Uh, but I just want to annex them, because it's more fun, so I'm gonna do that. Alright, apparently Man Kuko took a state. I'm fine with that. Well, there we go. There goes China. And it's 1940, so a little later than I wanted, but I would say let's go. Hmm. Oh, I can already demand Indochina. Let's see if they accept. Yep, they did. Wonderful. Even more land conquered. Alright, Siam has accepted my invitation to the faction. Which will make a great place to start attacking the allies from. I like how much of my infantry equipment is just Chinese or Chinese warlord equipment. And apparently 1500 Italian guns and 269, funny number, USA guns. Alright, I just justified on the Dutch East Indies. Now let's go to a war with them. Let's call in Siam. Let's go. Now I'm gonna try to blitz towards Singapore. Oh, already got the airfield and almost, and uh, yeah, I got Singapore. Let's go. And I've taken Hong Kong as well. Wonderful. Alright, time to land in Sumatra. Alright, so apparently they have 100 planes in Malaya. And that's forbidding me from invading Sumatra. So let's get some more out there. And yeah, it works. There we go. Apparently only the main one isn't going. Um, but I mean, there's no troops. So who cares? Someone just walk into Palembang, please. Thank you. Ooh. <laughs> We were just in time for before those Knill soldiers to showed up. The Germans are going after the Soviets now. The, the thing I want to do is join them in their offensive. 
So I'm gonna justify on them, which is apparently only gonna take me 10 days. Noise. So there we go, we can declare war on the Soviets. Let's see if I can set my army up properly this time. And let's start the offensive in Vladivostok at least. Oh, I need to call them in, of course. There we go. Now let's start the offensive at Vladivostok. Seems like the Allies are starving on my border near the Raj. So let's see if I can mount an offensive against them. Oh, whoa. Oh, we have almost reached Batavia, so let's see if we can take that. Alright, so I've basically taken Sumatra and Java, I only have to take the Lesser Sunda Islands. Let's see if I can take Borneo with just the paratroopers to capitulate the Dutch East Indies, if they would have actually moved there. So, it's gonna take a bit longer now. Alright, now that the troops did arrive, let's see if I can take Borneo with just the paratroopers again. Oh, there you go, and... What? What is this? Stop! Go in the ports, you goddamn idiots! Why aren't you going in the ports? You're only doing the attacks around the ports, not the ones on the ports. We need the ports! Ports! I guess just walk into them. Yep, there we go, got a port. Oh, Malaya capitulated really easily. Now let's take the rest of Borneo and hope the Dutch East Indies capitulate like that. Let's see if we can take Rangoon, because that would give us a supply there. A supply uh, base there, that would be very tasty. Well, that failed miserably. Overrun an enemy tank division. I have no tanks. Who did this? Oh my god, that must have happened in the Soviet Union. Oh, yep, yeah, it must have happened around here. That's funny. Rip Bozo. Okay, so they decided to show up at the last second on Borneo. Uh, however, I managed to take the port and now surround like eight of their units. Okay, so I'm only just able to land on Sulawesi from here. So I'm gonna hope I can sprint towards one of the ports quickly. Before they get there as well. Alright, here, here goes nothing. They've landed, and again, some don't land for some reason. And apparently there's a few troops defending Makassar. Let's hope we can surround them and take it anyway. It seems that we could. Let's go. Oh, there we go. They capitulated. Let's go. Alright, there we go. Just a quick cleanup of the islands that didn't capitulate for some reason. Oh, there goes Stalingrad. Let's see how far towards cap capitulation they are. Uh, very close, just 6 more percent. Alright, so, depending on your perspective, whether you want me to take the Soviet Union or not. They have captured all three of my spies. I have a collaboration government uh, operation prepared on them, ready to go. But I can't because all of my operatives are captured. And I can't rescue them because I don't have a free one. Now, this one is going to die in 24 days. But then I won't be able to rescue them because I won't have enough... A big enough intel network. So let's just hope they capitulate before that. What? No. Oh my god, Italy. Why are you still this incompetent? God damn it. Alright, after a lot of pain and suffering in Siberia. The Soviet Union is 99% towards capitulation. Can I find a city on the border I could quickly take? Yes, over there. And there they go. I didn't even have to take it. Let's go boys, we did it, we took the Soviet Union. Let's see if we can actually demand some stuff before the Germans cut us off. Why do the Germans insist on taking these provinces? God damn it. Oh, I don't even have enough points anymore to do it, let's leave these. Okay, there you go, not too bad actually. Got some decent land from this. I'm fine with this, I took some decent land and... I got a big empire now, let's go. Now I'm gonna delete this and put more units on the border with the Raj. I've declared war on Tibet, let's get them as well. Yes, they joined the allies, perfect. Italy still hasn't managed to take back Rome, god damn it. They might have been updated, but the, their AI certainly hasn't uh, improved. There we go, now we can declare war on Bhutan as well and make sure we can properly attack the Raj from three sides. Alright, sadly, because of my focus on the Soviet Union, I might not be able to get the Dominion of India, or the Raj. Um, however, I will try to get the Philippines real quick before the end date. Okay, let's see if I can take their capital. And if I can take the ports. Okay, well, you took a port, that's good. Wait, you never went to your airfield, what? Okay, we took the capital, let's take... The other port and see if that helps a little bit. Why are you not going? 
All right, down south they just decide not to work for some reason. Fun. Um, but we did get a bit in the north, so let's hope we can hold on and push from there. Okay, so the units are arriving. Let's hope they think they were just in time to save the board. Good, good, good. Right, they have gained organization. Let's start the offensive as quickly as we can. Can you guys, like, go, please? Would be very nice. No, you're just deciding to not work. Okay, fair enough, I guess. Okay, well, we got daily still, somehow. Uh, but it doesn't capitulate them, so I guess we're not getting the rush. And unfortunately, the Americans showed up, so we might not get the Philippines either, since for some reason these bloody paratroopers don't want to go down here. The bozos. Why are they still not going, damn it? How are they winning? How are these paratroopers possibly winning this? Okay, so I was looking at this offensive, but unfortunately it seems I have hit the end date of the challenge. Um, well, one of my answers to it is that it sucked, having no navy as Japan. Uh, but it was funny, because I could just focus everything on my army and uh, basically keep uh, army dominance the whole game long, because it didn't matter anyway. Uh, anyway, I got half of India. How far were they towards capitulation? Not very far. And I almost got the Philippines down. They were like over half towards capitulation. Let's see. Yeah, almost. Ah, just didn't get them. Unfortunate. However, I did get like Russia to capitulate and get half their land. Uh, so did I do better or worse than John Parker? I'll leave it up to you to decide. Uh, maybe about the same? Anyway, in honor of John Parker, of course, to come up with this challenge in a, in a dream, um, I will uh, link his video in the description, of course, uh, and a shout out to him, even though it means nothing since I'm such a small YouTuber. Um, but also, um, I know it will, will also not hold any weight, just like his video did, but I will just like him call out to Alex the Rambler to also try this challenge. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like. And subscribe. Out of.